Loves. So today I'm gonna to share my ultimate chocolate chip recipe. This has been a labor of love to create this recipe and it's taken a few years. And thanks to my avid love of cookbooks, I was able to take pieces of other people's recipes and combine them to create this ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipe. There are three major things that you need to do this right. Number one, brown your butter. Number two, add toasted milk powder. And number three, bang the cookies. So I'll show you how to do that. So once you have all of your ingredients ready to go, you need to brown one stick of butter. So you're gonna take that butter and put it in a small skillet and you're going to cook it on medium for about 10 minutes. You just have to sit here and watch it. So the butter will melt and then after a few minutes, it will start to bubble and get brown. And when it is brown all over and smells very nutty, then you are ready to use it. So once that happens, you are going to put it in a little bowl, and put it in either the refrigerator or the freezer. If you put it in the refrigerator, it needs to be there for about 45 minutes to solidify again, or you could put it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're gonna cream it with your other stick of butter. So now that your butter has browned, you are going to add your second ingredient, which is toasted milk powder. Take two cups of milk powder and put it in a glass bowl. Then put it in the microwave and you're going to cook it for 30 seconds and then whisk it. 30 seconds and a whisk it. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes to get it to turn this color. And your whole house will smell wonderful when you have done it but the reason why you whisk it is so it doesn't start burning in spots. So be sure that you do that. You're gonna add two tablespoons to your brown butter, which I have already done, and I'm going to stir to dissolve it. And then I'll take this mixture, put it in my glass bowl, and because I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 10 minutes so it will start to solidify again. So once your brown butter and toasted milk powder has solidified in the refrigerator or the freezer, you're going to add one more stick of unsalted butter to it at room temperature. You're also going to include three quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar and you're going to cream those butters and sugars together. The brown sugar is very important because it makes the cookie have a lot of depth of flavor. Not just sweet, but you can almost taste notes of molasses in it. So once you have creamed your butter and your sugar together, you're gonna add two eggs, also at room temperature. I used to not think that that was important when I was baking, but it helps for an even bake in the oven. So, it's important to do like the recipe says. Once the eggs have been incorporated into the butter, then you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a tablespoon of vanilla. You will also need to include two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And once we mix the flours together with the creamed sugar and butter. Then we are going to add the most important ingredient of all for this, which is the chocolate chips. Okay, add half a cup, and we're ready. Okay, let's cream that together, or mix that together. And the more you mix this with the flour, then the gluten will be released 
from the flour and the cookie will be chewy in an unpleasant way. So as soon as it starts to come together, you want to add the chocolate chips to it so you don't end up over mixing your cookies. So I added a whopping amount of chocolate chip cookies, two and a half cups. I use a half a cup of dark chocolate chips and a cup of milk chocolate chips and another cup of semi-sweet. So I use everything except for the white. Okay, once that has all been mixed together, I'm gonna use my hands to bring it together a little bit more. Then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator to get cold again. And that way when you put it into the oven, it won't just melt. So that's up next. Okay, so hopefully your cookie dough has been in the refrigerator for at least two hours, if not longer. You can put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and it'll be just fine. So now I have put in six cookies at 350 in the oven for four minutes. And you hear my oven dinging for me. So what you'll do is you'll take the cookies out and they haven't done much. The chocolate has just started to melt just a little bit and you're going to take them, it's gonna be loud, and you're going to bang it. This will make the cookie dough start to spread just a little bit. Now we're gonna put it back into the oven for three minutes. When that oven timer goes off in three minutes, I'll do the same thing again and bang them on the counter. Meanwhile, I've got some more cookie dough balls that are ready to go in the oven for when these are done. So you take your ice cream scooper, scoop out uh, one chunk of dough this size, and then round it into a ball and put it on your sheet pan on parchment paper. And I typically put six on each sheet pan and we just have to wait for the next go round. Okay, so those cookies are in their second take in the oven and the oven timer is just about to ding and I'm gonna take them out and bang them again for you and then we'll put them back in the oven for three minutes. So let's see. So they popped up a little bit this time and we want to make them chewy on the outside but soft in the middle, thus the banging. Okay, back in the oven. Okay. Okay, my cookies are dinging for me again. I'm gonna take them out and bang them once more. Depending upon how you like your cookies to be, we like ours really soft in the middle, you can leave them at this point on your counter, on a rack so that they can cool off and you can enjoy them. Or you can put them back into the oven again to crisp up, but I highly recommend leaving them this time and not going back into the oven. Okay, so our cookies have cooled for about 10 minutes, so they're still nice and warm, but they're not gonna fall apart when you pick them up. And here is the end result. And in my opinion, the best chocolate chip cookie that there is. Hope you can make it and hope you enjoy it. Thanks.